We've all seen a few years ago the constant terrifying news reports of IEDs going off uh, and the army were looking for ways to protect the troops. We were approached by BAE, we were looking at a problem to redesign the suspension for the warrior vehicle to get the vehicle back to its original design height despite the fact that they'd increased the weight of the vehicle by about 50%. The ride height is critical because it allows the vehicle to go at speed off-road without bottoming out. Every millimetre you're higher than an IED significantly enhances the chances of the crew surviving. The last time that we tried to develop a new steel into a new product probably took us about 10 years. So to compress the whole process into about 18 months was uh, a very pressured experience. The Technology Strategy Board became involved almost immediately. The funding was to take the concept to uh, production samples. We got the steel in, we put the parts on the rig test, and the first four parts just, just failed. We'd got a duff batch of steel. And as all these things, nothing ever moves quite on uh, oiled wheels. Um, and much of the success of the project is, is how you cope with some of the problems. Every time you turn the television on, uh, Afghanistan was on there. It, it, it made everybody feel very involved with, with something which was very important. It required much tighter controls within the factory, involving all the workforce, the importance of it, um, and getting the parts out as quickly as possible. The longer the project took, um, the more lives were going to be lost. From the feedback we've had, it got the vehicle back to its original design, which allowed the, the vehicle to operate to its full capability in the field. We had uh, several letters in direct from senior officers in the Army. It's not often you're able to connect the workforce so personally with something which was very important. On the 17th of May 2011, a warrior Tez H was struck by an IED. The blast threw the vehicle on its side and was severely damaged. Previously, such an explosion would have killed or very seriously injured the occupants. However, the three crewmen survived with only minor injuries. Thank you to all those involved for making the vehicle as if your lives depended on it. If the Technology Strategy Board had not got involved, the chances of success of the project would have been greatly reduced. They brought money, structure, focus to convert R&D, ideas, take risks and to produce products. And the UK's future is undoubtedly built on innovative new products. And the Technology Strategy Board have a major role to play in that.